If you like watching Asian Chinese TV dramas, the traditional Chinese wedding ceremony seems a must-have plot. Actually, the wedding ceremony you see in the TV drama is only a small part of the traditional Chinese wedding process. In different dynasties, the detailed rules are different. For example. When Wu Zetian worked as the emperor, ancient Chinese women's social status reached the highest point. During this time, in the wedding ceremony, bride needed to bow as other dynasties, but bridegroom must bow as usual. But no matter in which dynasty, Han Chinese whole wedding process. Usually follow the six steps, known as Liu Li, the six ceremonies of betrothal and marriage. Liu Li included Na Cai proposing, Wen Ming asked the bride's name and the birthday, Na Ji betrothal gifts, Na Zheng wedding gifts, Qing Qi pick auspicious wedding date. Qingyang wedding ceremony. During the whole wedding process, there are needed three kinds of certifications, called the San Shu, Pin Shu, Betrothal Certification, Li Shu, Gifts List, and Ying Shu, Wedding Certification. So. The most formal wedding process must include both San Shu and Liu Li. San Shu Liu Li earliest appeared in Zhou Dynasty, which was the third dynasty of ancient China. Because the full process of Liu Li was too complicated, common people were really hard to follow the whole process. For example, in Song Dynasty, the royal family and the noble family must follow the four Liu Li, but common people use the Si Li, four steps. Common people deleted Wen Ming, ask name and birthday, and Qing Qi, pick wedding date. In Ming Dynasty. Common people's wedding process further decreased, and became San Li three steps. Na Ji betrothal gifts was deleted. In Qing Dynasty, common Han Chinese only kept Na Cai proposing and Qingying wedding ceremony. Han Chinese government officers. Whose rank over level seven followed Wu Li five steps. Then I guess you will ask, how about Qing emperors? First, we must di- distinguish two concept: Ce Li Huang Hou and Da Hun. Ce Li Huang Hou is a promotion ceremony or coronation. If the emperor married when he was the prince, after inheriting the throne, he should promote an empress, not married an empress. So this process was a promotion ceremony, like you see in the Ruiz Royal Law. It wasn't a wedding process, so no needed to follow Liu Li. Da Hun was a wedding process of the emperor. The emperor married an empress. Only the emperor who inherited the throne as a kid had chance to marry an empress. So in Qing Dynasty, only five empresses: Shun Zhi, Kangxi, Tong Zhi, Guang Xu, and Xuan Tong had chance to have Da Hun wedding process. When Xuan Tong married, the Qing Dynasty already finished. So actually, only four Qing emperors had a wedding process. 
Shun Zhi and Kangxi didn't follow Liu Li, because in early Qing Dynasty, Han Chinese culture didn't influence Qing rulers very much. Tong Zhi and Guang Xu almost followed the whole process of Liu Li, but because the special of royal family, some process must be changed to fit the emperor's needs. In future videos, we will see the details of Sanshu Liu Li and the winding process of the Emperor Guangxu. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.